It's a cringe combination. Let's be a little bit more honest with ourselves. Okay, bye. Man, chickens really went off when they made eggs. Uh, eggs really went off when they made chicken. This is a real philosophical conundrum. Hmm. WTF, people actually tell the crushes they like them? Well, what the hell do you do? <laughs> I die. <laughs> What kind of question? Happy Pride Month to all my LGBTQ plus friends, and happy Kia Summer Sales Event to all my straight trademark friends. Very tiny animals fill me with both love and anxiety. You are divine, but please be careful. Thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version of thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version is functional. <gasps> Adventure Time slang is weird, because, like, when you first watch the show and hear the slang, you're like, oh, this is a cringy slang, but it's not, like, awful. But it gets to the point where the voice actors deliver the slang so naturally, you don't even notice it, and it's just part of the world's vernacular. I can't think of any other show that's done in-universe slang like this. Finn be like, oh man, this frappin' dude just ginked up and went flippo over the junkin' fence. Me, three seasons into the show. Wow, he really did, huh? Hmm. My tummy kind of hurts. Guess I have going to die disease. I ate one banana, now I'm gonna live forever. Tonight's headline, anti-gay group leader's wife leaves him for another woman. All right, stop. If this isn't the best thing you haven't seen all day, then I don't know what to tell you. No offense, but do I look like I understand anything? A niche character trope I like is the person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're secretly a little bit insane, actually. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is, why? Try to stay cool this summer. I hate you. This is a man who flirts with death. He's eating ice cream, which is brutal cannibalism. He isn't even completely in the shade, and yet he fixes the viewer with a smug look, as if to challenge us. As if to challenge the gods of death themselves. I mean, just just try to stay cool, you know? Hey, nice frontal lobe. Don't mind if I... Stir like a latte. <laughs> ah, the procedure was a success. Sometimes art is finished, and sometimes art is just at the point where you, if you have to look at it for another minute, you'll snap and commit crimes! I'm very passionate about STEM. Soup to eat, mm! Imagine being the guy who discovered microorganisms trying to explain to people that you promise there are millions of little secret guys on everything. Thanks, I hate it. Indie horror games are like, you are in a house. Concept! Jeff Bezos' Orden story film where his mother's chased off a cliff by a horde of angry Amazon workers. Hey man, the idiots are all gonna go down the Little League field to laugh at baseball fanatics who's coming. Explain Kingdom Hearts. Well, it's a fun game for ten-year-olds, except there's constant existential dread and multiple people being ruthlessly murdered and the ever-looming threat that your friends will turn on you against their will. Oh, and Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are there, and Donald dies in one scene. It, is, is the Kingdom Hearts fandom okay? We've never been okay. Guys, <laughs> watch his hair blatantly intersect with the lockers. So my college animation professor worked on Jimmy Neutron, and he was just like, Listen, yeah, we knew. We just didn't have the time or money to care. The power would go out the studio at least once a week, and they would have to just leave until it came on the next day. Jimmy Neutron's production team saw some shiz. I had a guest speaker come to my class that worked on Jimmy Neutron as an animator and said it was basically a fever dream. I think we need a documentary slash oral history about the making of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Dude, stop telling me to count Dracula. I've only ever seen the one. That's why they keep telling you. You haven't counted the others. Huh? ADHD is really just like me in the middle of a breakdown still crying. Ooh, I should redesign this OC of mine. It's really annoying to get bored of your emotional breakdown while you're having an emotional breakdown. Me, impatient as trauma is actually happening. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to wade through the five stages over this again? Can I just, like, you know, skip it? I don't zone out. Being zoned out is my default state, and I occasionally zone back in to check how things are going. 
Reality is just one of the hundreds or so tabs I keep running at any given time. Ah, you! You get it. You're MB, but you call yourself a bitch. Bitch is a female dog, by the way. Why? I am on the floor. Didn't you know bitch and bastard are gendered terms and thus you must use the neutral bitchard? Please, a bitchard was my father. Just call me dick. When I was 12, I got banned from Yahoo Answers, and when I emailed support to be like, what did I do? I got a really vague answer that just said, you know what you did. And it still haunts me to this day. I throw pies at short people asks, how tall are you? This is a direct threat. Attention everyone! Horny Bard is cancelled! We're bringing the dad bard to the table! Bardic inspiration? Because I believe in you, champ. Vicious mockery? It's all dad jokes. Seducing NPCs? Nope, we're using persuasion to get them to give you information you need because I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Jack of all trades? Yeah, your old dad knows a little bit about everything. Song of rest? It's called tucking you in and giving you a bedtime story. And be the one to split up party treasure and tell them that this is their allowance. Mix up your game, put your pot in a polo shirt and cargo shorts, hit that party with some big dad energy. But guys, dad bard with the dad bard. Guys, did I ever tell you about the time I completely accidentally ruined a professionally made campaign for D&D &D and thanks to a single roll? Please explain. Okay, so we had to fight our way to the bottom of a castle to stop a group of cultists from summoning an orc god to the world, and we got there, and the ritual was already going. So I ran up to the god, who had already begun to manifest, and cast Finger of Death, which kills any target it touched if they fail a fortitude roll. Since he was a god, he had good constitution and would have certainly survived. Except the DM rolled a one and the god exploded. <laughs> Oh, that's good shit. I love it. What if I get inside your mind and make you gay and then leave? I won't let you leave. Well, what am I supposed to do in here? Do it again. Make me gayer. Hey, shout out to every Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon that can only speak in caps. I do. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss this, and mansplain, manipulate, male wife that. What about reduce, reuse, recycle? Hey, you. You onto something. Dark emails. To whom it will concern. Now that this email has found you. I hope this email finds you before I do. Please stop. My Roomba is scared of thunderstorms. I was sitting at my desk just a few minutes ago, drawing, and a really loud crack of thunder went off. No power surges or anything, just thunder. And my Roomba fled from its dock and started spinning in circles. I currently now have an active Roomba sitting quietly on my lap. <sighs> Humans will pack bond with anything. Why should LGBT spaces cater to trans and non-binary people? <clears throat> That's the tea, sis. <laughs> I just spat out my tea. <gasps> my tea, oh my god! Mwah. Pipe check. I have an overwhelming urge to make bad decisions, trademark, and no one will let me! Section 5. Washington's army did not receive any support from Godzilla. I mean, well, it's technically true. So my history teacher would give you half a point or quarter point for an answer that was not wrong. This was not wrong. Behold, Icelandic sheep. Where are they going? To Valhalla! Kind of fucked up and nasty how many vampires drink blood, in my opinion. Like, Pepsi costs $1.75. Okay, where are you when you're getting Pepsi for $1.75? That shit's like two thirty minimum. Hospital. Who the fuck is paying two thirty for a Pepsi? Not me, I'm paying $1.75. At the hospital. I pay like two fifty, but I'm Canadian. I feel like we're getting off topic. Blood is free? So is Pepsi if you steal it. Why does OP get their Pepsi from the hospital? Because it's only a dollar seventy-five. Why in God's name would a vampire drink Pepsi? Well, why would anyone drink Pepsi? Ah, found the femboy. Wait, what? Huh? Am I having a stroke? Yeah, I think I'm having a stroke. You might want to go to a hospital then. I hear the Pepsi is cheaper there. 
and that's why I'm not a fan of sexy vampire trope. It's overused and supports current status quo of the typical vampire supremacy, worshipping rich folk. Vampires prey upon humans and therefore symbolize capitalists preying on the working class. And three, werewolves are much sexier in my opinion. Constantly wants to draw things outside of my artistic abilities. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I put the by in bitch. Final note for the day. Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheeps. Please peel your sheeps! When you are lonely, I'll be right here. When you are sad, your heart's full of fear Don't be scared, darling I'll always be near Here to hold your hand and tell you It's gonna be okay